Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus Channel. There have been several evolutions in world wars and the quest for global power. There were times when foot soldiers usually decided wars in a winner-take-all method, which placed importance on the tactical intelligence of the commanders of the armed forces. There is currently a change in trend from having a battleground on land to having a combat field in the air. The sky has undoubtedly become a battlefield, and one of the weapons and instruments used in this modern warfare are flying robots. The term drone refers to any sized flying vehicle that can be operated remotely without the need for an onboard pilot. Since the early 2000s, Air Forces worldwide have invested billions of dollars into this technology, creating multiple aircraft to perform a wide range of missions. The United States forces keep their assets and airspace safe by using several drones, such as the RQ-4. An unmanned surveillance and reconnaissance plane, the RQ-4 has actually been in service since 1998. Designed for high-altitude, long-range applications, the RQ-4 is massive, boasting a 130-foot wingspan alongside a nearly 50-foot-long fuselage. This $100 million drone is powered by a Rolls-Royce F-137RR100 turbofan engine with some 7,600 pounds of thrust. It features a service ceiling of 60,000 feet and a range of more than 14,000 miles, making the aircraft ideal for missions that might be too dangerous for a manned vehicle. Some RQ-4 fleets are outfitted with communication systems that connect them directly to ground forces. Over more than 40,000 square miles, it can collect high-resolution images with pinpoint accuracy in real time. With features such as onboard jamming system and a radar warning receiver, it can provide a low radar and infrared signature. The RQ-4 is controlled remotely with a ground segment, which includes the mission control element and the launch and recovery element. Ground operators communicate with the unmanned aircraft mostly via satellite. The operators can obtain information about the status of the drone and alter navigation and sensor plans during the flight if required. It is possible to place its 1,000-pound avionics package almost anywhere without disturbing the working condition of the aircraft. Being a slightly older design, the RQ-4 requires regular maintenance in order to keep the aircraft in tip-top shape. This is because operating at higher altitudes can expose the aircraft's sensitive equipment to extremely cold temperatures and increased stress. This is especially true of the sensory, radar, and optical equipment, which is very sensitive to temperature changes and vibration. Should any of this fail mid-flight, it could endanger the mission and potentially expose troops or aircraft crewmen to threats from unfriendly foreign powers. The Air Force Maintenance Unit works hard to ensure this unmanned aerial vehicle effectively carries out its missions. The maintenance can include several extensive structural repair works, 
including engine changes and the installation of a generator, along with many body repairs. The forward nacelle air intake is one of the parts targeted for repair, and it is repaired off the aircraft to ensure that no dust or debris damages the internal parts. The nacelles house more than just the engine and the engine's accessory drive systems. They are aerodynamic structures designed to distribute airflow from the engines properly. In addition, proper maintenance of the fuel system is also critical to the mission of the aircraft. Further to its impressive high altitudinal intelligence gathering, the drone has been instrumental in providing humanitarian assistance and disaster relief. This is because it can be used to identify passable roads and territories to enable first responders to plan evacuation routes into and out of disaster zones. It can also identify emergency landing zones in hazardous areas while providing uninterrupted coverage. Hawkeye request on the active for chase. With its near real-time transmission of data to experts, it can identify partially submerged or sunken ships at sea as well as landscape hazards on the ground. Thus, it might be necessary to be transferred from one specific location to another. Depending on the mission's requirements, this spy aircraft can be transported in the United States Air Force transport aircraft known as the C-5 Galaxy. The cargo consists of everything the plane would need to function, including the control center, thereby making the drone highly transportable. To maximize the effective utilization of the spy aircraft and to understand the working principles of the different fleets in the military, the United States Air Force can conduct a rehearsal of concept drill for the UAVs. The ROC drill caters to the challenges facing the use of the technology and how to use it to conduct wide area security and medical operations. It is a visual learning facilitating the Army to discuss and practice combat missions by communicating the sequence of events in detailed phases. It fosters the development of shared understanding to ensure the smooth execution of the contingency plans when activated. Through a series of training, the United States Marine Corps informally familiarizes its members with the functions and capabilities of these unmanned aerial vehicles. Some of the live training sessions can include the use of the RQ-21A. It is a small tactical unmanned aircraft system deployed in maritime and land-based tactical intelligence, as well as target acquisition and data collection missions. Training for UAVs can be interesting, and using the RQ-21A can provide some tactical advantages, especially since it can be launched from a land-based launcher. This is because the RQ-21A provides unique capabilities within a network of distributed operations. It can be deployed rapidly with limited footprints. Its capabilities are enhanced by its ability to extend its flight distance using spoke sites to extend the hub site's reach. 
At the same time, the Marines can deploy from the hub location and establish a spoke site during training. More recently, the U.S. Air Force has been experimenting with what it refers to as full-scale aerial target drones. They figured that it was unsurprisingly easy to turn a computer-controlled fighter into a drone. This transformed the aircraft from hunters to the hunted by using them to test sophisticated missiles and electronic warfare systems. Known as the QF conversion program, this process may include modified systems engineering and integration, as well as numerous structural alterations, depending on the condition of the parent aircraft. Previously, Vietnam-era McDonnell Douglas F-4 Phantoms were converted in much the same way. Over the years, more than 5,000 of these highly versatile planes were produced, all with the ability to travel at Mach 2.2 and climb as high as 60,000 feet. These veteran fighter jets proved extremely useful during global aerial and ground exercises, where they could simulate incoming planes and perform various attack and evasive maneuvers. The supersonic drones are carefully converted to replicate enemy aircraft maneuvers in testing and training exercises and can be flown with a safety pilot for performance monitoring. It can also be integrated with electronic and infrared countermeasures for validating the aircraft and weapons fired against it. It will also help in the development of new weapon systems that can be used to neutralize enemy attacks. Indeed, many experts consider the Phantom to be the last excellent dogfighting plane. Since the QF-4 is a third-generation fighter with some limitations, the U.S. Air Force desired to upgrade its capabilities and provide a real modern fighting asset to training units. The requirement is that the new airframe is the fourth generation, which makes the F-16 a feasible fighter for such a conversion. This resulted in the F-16 fighter being converted into aerial target drones. The F-16 is relatively easy to transform into a drone because instead of older aircraft such as the F-4 Phantom, the F-16 uses onboard computers to translate the pilot's command into direct controls to the aircraft. In addition, the modified F-16 drone has an included flight termination system that can destroy the drone if it gets out of control. It also has a command telemetry system, so that the drone can be controlled from the ground, as well as a scoring system to gauge the accuracy of air-to-air -air missiles fired at the drone. The modification comes with kit equipment that allows the drone to take off, land, and perform complicated aerial maneuvers. The very first QF-16 successful unmanned mission occurred in New Mexico on August 17, 2016. The same model was shot down the following year as part of a special weapons exercise. While this practice is expensive, it is the only way air and ground crews can get proper experience on what it's like to engage a real enemy aircraft. Unmanned aircraft have revolutionized modern warfare, providing the military with tactical advantages. However, as technology continues to become more and more refined, we're guaranteed to see more remote-controlled planes being utilized by air forces worldwide. In the end, drones are the perfect way to perform a wide range of missions while keeping pilots and their crews well out of harm's way. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it.
Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.